First reading, Genesis, chapter 3 verse 9 to 24. But Yahweh God called to the man. Where are you? He asked. I heard the sound of you in the garden, he replied. I was afraid because I was naked, so I hid. Who told you that you were naked? He asked. Have you been eating from the tree I forbade you to eat? The man replied, It was the woman you put with me. She gave me some fruit from the tree, and I ate it. Then Yahweh God said to the woman, Why did you do that? The woman replied, The snake tempted me and I ate. Then Yahweh God said to the snake, Because you have done this, accursed be you of all animals wild and tame. On your belly you will go, and on dust you will feed, as long as you live. I shall put enmity between you and the woman and between your offspring and hers, it will bruise your head, and you will strike its heel. To the woman he said, I shall give you intense pain in childbearing, you will give birth to your children in pain. Your yearning will be for your husband, and he will dominate you. To the man he said, Because you listened to the voice of your wife and ate from the tree of which I had forbidden you to eat, accursed be the soil, because of you. Painfully will you get your food from it as long as you live, it will yield you brambles and thistles, as you eat the produce of the land, by the sweat of your face will you earn your food, until you return to the ground, as you were taken from it. For dust you are, and to dust you shall return. The man named his wife Eve, because she was the mother of all those who live. Yahweh God made tunics of skins for the man and his wife and clothed them. Then Yahweh God said, Now that the man has become like one of us in knowing good from evil, he must not be allowed to reach out his hand and pick from the tree of life too, and eat and live forever. So Yahweh God expelled him from the Garden of Eden. To till the soil from which he had been taken, he banished the man, and in front of the Garden of Eden he posted the great winged creatures and the fiery flashing sword to guard the way to the tree of life. Responsorial Psalm, Psalms chapter 90 verse 2, 3 to 4, 5 to 6, 12 to 13, before the mountains were born, before the earth and the world came to birth, from eternity to eternity you are God, you bring human beings to the dust, by saying, Return, children of Adam, a thousand years are to you like a yesterday which has passed, like a watch of the night. You flood them with sleep, in the morning they will be like growing grass, in the morning it is blossoming and growing, by evening it is withered and dry. Teach us to count up the days that are ours, and we shall come to the heart of wisdom. Come back, Yahweh. How long must we wait? Take pity on your servants. Gospel, Mark chapter 8 verse 1 to 10. And now once again a great crowd had gathered, and they had nothing to eat. So he called his disciples to him and said to them, I feel sorry for all these people, they have been with me for three days now and have nothing to eat. If I send them off home hungry, they will collapse on the way. Some have come a great distance. His disciples replied, Where could anyone get these people enough bread to eat in a deserted place? He asked them, How many loaves have you? And they said to him, Seven. Then he instructed the crowd to sit down on the ground, and he took the seven loaves. And after giving thanks he broke them and began handing them to his disciples to distribute, and they distributed them among the crowd, they had a few small fishes as well, and over these he said a blessing and ordered them to be distributed too, they ate as much as they wanted, and they collected seven basketfuls of the scraps left over. Now there had been about four thousand people. He sent them away. And at once, getting into the boat with his disciples, went to the region of Dalmanutha.